Hello, and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob, and I call myself Sansomi. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so, it would help me out a lot. And if you are, I would say thank you very much. Now, let's see what little things we can get together today. I haven't been able, I haven't had the time to do anything off camera even. So we're pretty much where we were when we left off last week um so yeah i don't know if we're gonna be doing anything really today um i was thinking maybe we should talk a bit more about cs2 perhaps um, we can see here is this will this is recorded on a saturday so tomorrow it will be a hundred days a hundred days until the game is released we're all looking forward to it now if i'm to say anything negative about the game the csp that is i must say that uh, it is that it's sort of not the graphical itself uh, in this sort of area in the game area but in all the buttons and everything like that the graphic is very console looking and I don't like that to be honest um, I noticed that on, on when um, I watched the City Skylines YouTube um, from the City Skylines um, people when they made their videos and they used the console game all these icons were very could I say basic looking? Um, I didn't like them, not at all. So um, that's one of the things that I find um, sad when I think about um, CS2. Um, so far, other than that, I haven't really seen anything negative. For me, most of the things look really cool and i'm really looking forward to playing the game um i did watch uh, there was something another uh, about um what should we call it there was something about um this um oh, brain freeze here now uh, the the public and the the transportation that is um, both public transportations and and uh, the industry thingamajinks and that looked interesting especially the industry thingamajinks um, because um, I have been um, feeling a bit sad about um, these, um, what should we call it? Where is the gap here? It's right here, okay. I've been feeling a bit sad uh, in this here because there was a district sort of thing, or not a district, uh, 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 I did have a mod that made me, me decide what I wanted be moved and uh, in within and I could control things like uh, if I wanted this cemetery to just take people here and stuff like that which I was very disappointed when that uh, did disappear that that is a, a, a cool thing um, in it so but I wonder if if things will there is of course a, a chance that it will be too much for some people. Um, some people will find it overwhelming with all the new information that will arrive. Personally, I think I will love it. Um, I do like um, I do like a lot of um, being able to control small details of the game. I do love that to be honest so for me I've, i'm really looking forward to those kind of things to be able to have 
higher control of the the thing I want to do and stuff like that. Um, having more control, especially when it comes to the industrial um, thing imaging and be able to move things around and stuff like that. So that is something that I'm really, really looking forward to. So um, that's going to be very interesting. Other than that, I, I don't know. I, I have, I think it's hard for me to talk about um, about CS2 because, uh, yeah, I really don't want to say too much until I've played it. Uh, uh, maybe then I won't be able to shut up about it. But for now, since I haven't been um, able to play it, I I'm not going to say too much, to be honest. I, I think I think I'll leave. Um, I'll try to, to stay away from talking about CS2 as much as possible, to be honest. And it's not because I'm not looking forward to the game, because I really am. I am very much looking forward to the game. Um, I think it's going to be very neat, very cool. And um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to the game, but I'm having a hard time just talking about it um, depending on the videos that we've been able to see and stuff like that I don't think that will let's see if we can erase this now of course not crap I don't know there is some anarchy key that doesn't really work here which is very irritating I don't know what kind of um, mod i have forgotten to try and take back and i can't find it in this anarchy mod to be honest um so i guess it's not in this one but uh, yeah it's very frustrating but as i said a hundred days left come on i'm not going to be putting too much much effort into this game to be honest of course um it is what it is, and uh, we're just going to be talking and um, having a little look and building um, a s small amount of things from time to time. Um, since I'm I'm on a map that I I played before, I don't see the reason for me to really go in. Why is that not? Hello. You should be able to smooth out, shouldn't you? There we go. Okay. Yeah, there. That the bump in the road went away. Oh no. Now, so I don't see any reason for me to do anything really humongous and and try to build a lot of things um, but I'm pretty much just going to do some small uh, play around with with the thing in my jeans here and talk um, that will probably be a kind of good amount of oh crap good amount of talking about um, CS2 of course since we do have that pretty close, um, it's not far away. A hundred days goes quickly, um, whether we like it or not. Uh, it's going to be here, and we're going to play it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to look. I'm looking forward to, to actually start making some videos uh, with that game as well. Um, uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to be making uh, an, an, uh, a map. I would like to, to be making some similar map to this because I really do like this map, even if I'm pretty sure some have that's a lot of problems with it. But uh, I do like it and um, I would like to find something similar. Of course, I would 
want it to be perhaps looking a bit more natural and uh, to be honest I would be more um, I would welcome a lot of more of house being able to be built in hills and, and things that you didn't have to have it completely flat um, because that makes me want to have a flat map I live in the south of Sweden we ha actually have kind of a sort of a flat ground here we're not we don't uh, we don't have mountains and stuff like that we have um, flat grounds um, rich soil um, which make us produce most of the food in Sweden but uh, not mountains and we are, do have some hills of course and of course it is a bit wavy the, the ground and that is because you want to get more um, to be able to, to produce more food on a smaller area that's why there is hill you don't want it to be too much of a hill because you want the sun to reach everything but if you take a paper and you try to fit it in to a smaller area you can see that the paper is a bit wavy and the same thing goes for the ground if you have a wavy ground you do have more room to grow food so yeah uh, I think it's a good thing uh, but uh, as I said you don't want big hills and, and deep valleys and stuff like that because then the sun don't reach everything and you don't get that uh, effect that isn't as good but otherwise that is something uh, you should know but uh, I don't know I, I never taught it in school I, I, it's a bit of a self-taught thing um, with that um, being that I had a piece of paper that I needed to fit into a place that was too small and I thought oh well that's probably why the ground is a bit um, wavy uh, so yeah but anyway uh, that's something that I uh, by the way when we're talking about CS2 as well that is something that I really loved about the, 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 the CS2 now the latest that I did see uh, the way you could uh, put out fields for the farming industry and just see um, the farming was extremely cool I think to be able to put those uh, kind of things going to see here no we don't have so let's see if we can't put ourselves in a nice spot where something happens we can just talk and look at this little billboard with gaming like a noob that's me anyway um i think cs2 is probably going to be our uh, uh, a good game um, but I do understand that there are some people that are a bit worried because as I've said before um, the what should I say the the, um, the quality of uh, the video which um, which they released um, the first video that they released is which is probably made with Unreal Engine 5 gave so many people such a high hope well, that didn't even work so gave so many people so much hope that the game would would look like that that all of those people are going to be d disappointed because the game does not look like that of course um, doesn't matter if you think it looks good or not it does not look as good as that first trailer and yes they it did say that it was um, 
it was not actual um, game footage so yes of course they haven't lied to us that's for sure but I'm pretty sure there were people that thought oh look at that graphic we're gonna give it oh it's going to look like a real city blimey that's going to be so cool and uh, I guess those people probably are a bit um, disappointed on how it looks for me I wasn't really expecting um, first I was oh god if they could make it with that graphic that would be extremely cool um, but I pretty quickly found out that they work in unity and they're not going to make the game in unreal engine 3 and as unity they're probably a good graphical um, 3d engine but not compared to the new um, unreal engine 5 um, which I thought it looked like in that in those in that video uh, the first released so so yeah I think I think there is some people that's going to be really really disappointed and um, but I still think that most people should be pretty happy about the game because I think it looks kind of nice to um, it looks like it's going to be a nice game to play so I'm looking forward to it anyway but of course uh, yeah it would have been cool if it, because it, it should it's supposed to be able I don't know if you need a, a computer that is out of this world to be able to do it um, but we do know when they came with when they first released Unre Unreal Engine 5 they have that matrix video where they were driving in a city so we do know that we could get that you could make that um, quality of uh, graphics so so yeah but but anyway I, I think it's going to be a super hit anyway um, but just, yeah I think they're, they're going to get a couple of new players as well um, and they're going to lose some players some players are going to continue to play city skylines one because they're going to be disappointed with what they're getting in city skylines two uh, i fully i'm fully aware of that um, because nothing is just perfect anyway so you know so that that is my point when it comes to everything i think it's going to be a, um, a successful game if everything works we don't know yet uh, we don't know if they have taken water over their heads and might not be finished with the game uh, when when october 24 24th is coming um, there might be a lot of bugs that's gonna make the, the that's going to make the game completely worthless to try and play so yeah we're not there yet but I'm looking forward to it uh, it's going to be a very interesting game um, so yeah I'm afraid I don't think I don't feel like I have any more time I need to record other videos I need to do some things uh, around the house and so forth so I think I'm gonna give up on this episode uh, I hope you have enjoyed it uh, we've been talking a bit about CS2 so maybe that is sort of an interest um, option at the moment um, and yeah I, I can see there's loads of people releasing uh, City Skylines 2 videos so uh, and I guess that's a way to perhaps get more subscribers uh, if you can release tons of those videos where they all talk about the same things I'm not gonna do that uh, 
unless there comes something really spectacular in those devs um, that I'm going to be having a hard time staying away from. I'm not going to be releasing videos about others, other videos, so to speak. So, but as I said, as soon as CS2 is coming out, I am going to be releasing CS2 videos. You can rely on that for at least. But for now, I say, I do hope you have enjoyed it. Do like, subscribe and all that nice stuff. Uh, would really love to get a lot more subscribers, of course. Um, stay safe out there and uh, have heaps of fun. And I'll just end with bye-bye-bye-bye.